Hi, my name is Stephanie Yaboa. I am an author, journalist, and content creator, and I'm getting personal with Frank. Come in. My thoughts on being naked it is something that is empowering, unapologetic. It is something that I no longer associate with being low confident or shame or anything like that. It is freeing. So I'm very scientific and technical with it. I just, I literally just call it a vagina or vagine. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I started calling it that in secondary school just to like be funny about it and it's just stuck. So yeah, vagine or lady garden even. Um, Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa gives me butterflies, moths, 737 jets, all of it. He just gives me all the things in that region of my body and below. He's just a beautiful man. Something I do every day that nobody knows, I tend to talk to my plants because I feel like it helps them grow. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, I treat my plants uh, kind of like they were my, my kids, my, uh, my, my little children. I, I currently have 22 at the moment. And um, yeah, sometimes I talk to them when I'm watering them. I might just say, oh, you're growing really nicely, aren't you? <laughs> Um, it's sad, but it's, you know, a thing that I, I like to do. It was a movement that was meant to be a safe space for predominantly black women and women of colour who were plus size, who didn't feel as if they had um, any kind of mainstream acceptance. Um, so it was a safe space for us to kind of celebrate ourselves and provide visibility and to sort of challenge the notions of what is seen as acceptable in society. It is a movement that I think includes other bodies that are marginalised as well. So not, not just plus size bodies, but also bodies uh, that may be disabled or bodies that have specific quote unquote flaws that people are trying to celebrate. So whether it's things such as acne or things such as hyperpigmentation, it is a movement that I think can be joined by everyone to accept the things that society has taught us to hate. I think I am most proud of the book that I wrote last year called Fatally Ever After. It was a book that I created for plus size women of colour and black women uh, in a bid for us to feel seen and it talks about the ways in which we navigate society living within different intersections. I'm really proud of it because I feel like it's the first book of its kind where black fat women can finally feel seen in a society that has marginalised us for years and years and years, so I'm really proud of that. The word fat has always had quite negative connotations throughout society, throughout history, because people tend to associate the word fat with ugly, hideous, grotesque, all of these things and use it as an insult. For myself and others within the body positive, body acceptance space, we have decided to reclaim that word because what we have found is that the word fat is not negative. It is literally a descriptive word of a body type. The same way we have thin, slim, muscular, tall, short, etc. Fat is a description of a body type. We want to get rid of this notion that people associate fatness with being less than because regardless of whether you are big or small or muscular or not, we are all worthy of love, we are all worthy of acceptance and the respect that everybody else gets. So that's why I choose to use the word fat because it's not a bad word, it's just a body type. And I think once you remove the power from that word, then people can no longer use it as a way to insult you. The lack of harmful chemicals involved. Um, I feel like I'm doing something good for the environment. As somebody that is generally trying to lead a bit of a clean lifestyle, 
from makeup to products to food, um, I would prefer using products that have really good skincare benefits and the lack of chemicals and harmful products and not being tested on animals is something that I really try to consider when buying products that I can use. Uh, just so that from a moral standpoint and from a physical standpoint, I can kind of get um, all of the good things out of that product.